Anyway, this is called I Love These Moments. The phone rings. I feel my way to a chest of drawers while my feet leave prints on the irredeemable cold. It was my brother calling from Kent. He says to me, we've forgotten dad's birthday again. Then silence. I mean, what can you say? It was the worst thing ever. Christmas was coming. My brother's voice again. Dad would like dinner with his family, children, grandchildren, and great-granddaughters who paint cards, play games, make him laugh, and afterwards let him fall asleep on the settee, although he calls it resting his eyes. My heart flutters, and it feels my throat's been cut when I realise he's been dead 17 years and I smoked his unwanted packets of cigarettes before I gave up. b and Gold. I could imagine his lips around the filters. I lay beside his body that morning, not wanting to wake or feel the cold skin that belonged to a stranger now. Later, I remember thinking I wouldn't have to mow his lawn or take him to Tesco so he could smoke in the cafe, enjoy a nice cup of tea and some biscuits, and catch up with people he hadn't seen for years. At least now it won't matter if I forget my dad's birthday, and I should really phone my brother, who's dying. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. That, and that is the third poem in a row. I've mentioned the line, a nice cup of tea and biscuits. <laughs> So, current thing.